Dangerous drug cartels are making big inroads into the illegal drug trade here in northeastern Pennsylvania. That's the word today from federal, state, and local law enforcement officials. The drug raids in Wilkesbury this week are considered the largest in city history. WBRE 28, WYOU 22, Eyewitness News, I team reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in Wilkesbury. Andy, what have you learned? Well, good evening, Mark. Law enforcement officials tell me they're not naive. They've known for decades that cartel members or those linked to big time drug cartels from. Uh, Latin America have been operating in northeastern Pennsylvania for years, but they say the raids this week here in the Diamond City confirmed their worst fears and worst concerns that these cartels are more active than ever before and more dangerous than ever before. When this investigation began many, many months ago, uh, we never thought it would lead to something this big. A Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sangodolci is talking about the raids in Wilkesbury this week that resulted in three arrests and the seizure of more than a million dollars worth of fentanyl and cocaine. Also confiscated weapons and some $100,000 in cash. Narcotics agents learned that the operation was connected to a Mexican drug cartel known as Montes de Oca. You know, we, we didn't have as thorough knowledge of the group uh, and their activity in this area as we thought we did, obviously. Um, but I think uh, there's a local perception that, you know, the, the larger cities' gangs are, are, have not moved into this area, and we've found that to be not true over the last few years. Federal, state, and local agents raided three locations in Wilkesbury, bases of operation for these alleged dealers. The top federal prosecutor in northeastern Pennsylvania say the investigation is ongoing, so he could not comment on this cartel connection, but in general says these types of operations are well organized. These are well organized operations, just like any um, organization that distributes a product. Um, they have distribution networks, they have distribution chains, they have agents, they have sellers, they have people that are in charge of marketing. Um, it, it's a very sophisticated operation. And Bruce Brandler says these cartels are the main reason drug overdose deaths are at epidemic levels. The, the heroin epidemic, the opioid epidemic, uh, remains um, at very troubling levels, and these um, drug trafficking organizations are the cause of the uh, deaths that we're seeing throughout the nation. Stephanie Wallenick is a drug addiction counselor. She says these cartels know there is money, big money, to be made in our region. I mean, it's a supply and demand. If there is no demand, there is not going to be a supply. So there obviously is a demand. Now, law enforcement officials say their big concern is that an innocent bystander, somebody could get hurt because these drug cartels will do whatever it takes to sell their poison here on the streets of northeastern Pennsylvania. Reporting live for the IT Metal Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Mahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News. Mark